Well, hello, welcome everybody to another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing. I'm Joey Evans, and today we are taking a look at Banish the Snakes. It is a GMT game. As you guys know, they're the ones that made Twilight Struggle. And uh, another game we played called Flashpoint recently. It's really good. That'll be going up on the channel. But this is Banish the Snakes. And this is actually, it's a heavy box, but more, most of theirs usually have like a lot of paper in there and all. So let's take a look. I know nothing about this story, to be honest. Look at the playing time here. 90 to 120 might sound like a lot, but that is not a lot for a GMT game. That is called a quick game for them. Players, one to six. Complexity looks like, what is this? Low, low complexity. Solitaire suitability is high. Wow, okay. All right, so let's take a look. Open this up. There we go. All right. Oh, there's more. All right. Let's open up and see what we got in here. Mm -hmm. All right. We've got a rule book. Yeah. The one thing I do wish they do is put a bit more, a bit better paper in there. This really feels like it was just Xerox at an office. Every time all these GMT games feel like that, which is fine, I guess, but I just. I don't know, I'd like to see him put a little bit more effort in the paper quality here. But, if it's a good a rule book, it doesn't look like that long compared to some of the other GMT games we've unboxed on here. This looks pretty straightforward as far as rules. Alright, and now we've got a playbook, historic background, and example of play. Alright, again, the same type of quality, lots of text, not a lot of pictures. But, here we go. Okay. We've got what appears to be some player boards here. Yeah. Different types of player boards. Place Active Saint here. Not crazy about that font. And, ooh, on the back. All right. Okay. So, different player boards here. And here are your tokens. My, my, my. Oh, wait. These are not tokens. These are stickers. Stickers. Banish the snakes. I thought it said banish the stickers. All right. So... You've got stickers on this. Huh. No idea. Unless you put these on tokens, or are you going to... It's not a legacy game, right? You know what? Very well could be a legacy game. Ooh, let's open this up. Oh, my. This is going to be... All right. Open it this way, and this way, and then... Th oh, this is a puzzle. Oh, yep. There we go. Yep, this is... This is a legacy style game. All right. Okay, so it looks like, if I'm not wrong, that's where you're going to put the stickers, maybe? Huh. Okay, so, yeah. Um, all right, good size board. And it's good quality. This is good quality cardboard here on this. Or not cardboard, but this is it's a good quality board. All right, let's take a look at... Let's get into the cards first before we actually look at the tokens themselves. All right, here we go. Da -da -da. All right, here are the cards. You know what? I do like little rounded corners. They don't bend as much when you have rounded corners. I don't know why more places don't do that. All right, some player aids, player actions. Do you like those? One for everybody. And. Here's the back of it. I don't think they needed that. I don't think they needed their logo on the back. You're not going to forget. All right, but let's take a look. Artwork, different things here. Yeah, same style artwork is consistent through there. All right, and now these are just standard discs here. Standard meeples. Got a sort of a bishop chess piece here, which I guess does make sense. For the theme, more cubes of different sizes. You know what? This would make more sense if the stickers go on this. Let's just hope that's the way to do it. The stickers will probably go on this. And this. And this. That would make a lot more sense than putting them on the board. There we go. So, 
you're going to spend a lot of time stickering. Yeah, so, okay, that's probably what these go. But these are, let's open a couple of these. Yep, they're good. They're good quality. They're fine. Okay. Got a die. And you know what? Let's go ahead and just, for good measure, open up this deck of cards, too. And see what we're working with. Here we go. Whoop, boop, 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 boop. All right. Okay. And, of course, there's the logo. I'll put the logo right there. Event card. Let's see an event. All right. We just had an event card. Boom. What happens? One free build per turn. Level zero churches provide a plus one modifier. Okay. So, all these different events, event cards. Different artwork on there. Okay. All right. So, that is it. I guess the cards do just kind of fall in there, though. So you probably want to get a bag or something to put them in. But, all right, that is GMT's game, Banish the Snakes. All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.